Hello everybody, it is GameBoy10 here on Sunday. Wait, only as me as serious because anybody will call me. We're gonna shut off my fan because it's probably really loud and obnoxious. But, um, I know I haven't done a drumming video in a little bit. I actually do have videos ready, I just haven't edited them yet because editing sucks. Um, I've been having troubles with that. So, instead, I am going to put this out just to hold you guys up for a little bit. Uh, because I will be busy for a little while, I won't say forever, but for a little while. Uh, my apologies for my horrible hair, and you can see the stupid curl, I don't know, fuck it, fuck. Anyway, so, I have a review of food for you. I made this food myself, and, uh, it was a little ingredient on the internet <clears throat> for this, for this deal, and I was like, okay, let's, let's try making this. It was interesting, um, I love my potatoes, I love my cheese. So I had to do this, because deep fried, you just can't go wrong. It is literally, I, I'm going to hope to do this good, deep fried mashed potatoes and cheese. Fucking orgasmic, okay? Like, it's just fucking amazing. Okay, and I can't really get a good angle, because I'm horrible at this, but, like, have a look at that. Like, that's gorgeous. That's just beautiful. Okay? Now, we're going to we're gonna eat, pop one of these into my mouth, and it's going to be fucking amazing. Haven't tried one yet, um, but I made these myself, like I said, deep fried them and everything. Well, I kind of just fried them uh, on a pan. So, uh, I used vegetable oil, uh, I used a few eggs, I think I used like two or three. Uh, oh, a tip for you guys, uh, the, the ingredients told me to put the egg mixed into the mashed potatoes and cheese. Don't do that, because then it doesn't make it firm, and it's very, very hard to uh, make into little balls. I would keep it just as it is uh, with the cheese and the mashed potatoes, and then put the eggs separate. So then it is really firm and then really simple to, you know, mix into a ball before going into the egg and the uh, ch uh, the breadcrumbs. So here we go. We're going to take a bite. Here's the one I'm eating. It's beautiful. It's very golden brown. It's a little bit overcooked, but that's okay. No big deal. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of looks like um like a chicken McNugget on the inside. Mm, so good. I could call for a bit more cheese, a bit more salt. Other than that, it's fucking amazing. I didn't put any salt in the mashed potatoes. These are not garlic mashed potatoes, but I would highly recommend that. Um, they called for chives. I wouldn't do that. I would probably just do the garlic mashed potatoes. Much easier. Just even do Betty Crock or anything simple. I used, like, legit potatoes. Well, not like legit potatoes, but like I used the, uh, the, the powder, uh, as opposed to the pre-made. So, uh, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, but it had nothing particular. It was just regular ass powder. So, I would recommend the garlic Mm. And I used some sort of Italian breadcrumbs. That's why you can see... Well, you can't really see on this camera because it's a piece of shit, but... There is some spices. And they're, like, green. Don't know if you can see them, but... Uh, pretty radical. Pretty rad. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Fan fucking tastic. Okay. So anyway, my chicken is up. <laughs> my my dad decided to fry some chicken up, which is kind of cool. So anyway, um, when I come back, you'll be seeing some drumming videos. I think the first one I'm gonna be doing is Megadeth, uh, if I remember correctly, or it might be uh, Bullet for My Valentine. I think I might be having two videos coming out at once to compensate, but we will see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.